Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, it's the Monday edition of the Weather Extreme video. Monday morning, the 10th of October. James Spann here starting a new work week today. Kind of cloudy and cool. Maybe a bit of light rain in spots with an interesting feature down to the southeast of here. Let's go to some of the sky cam shots early this morning at the ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock. There's a look at uh, Birmingham. Temperatures are mostly in the 60s around here. There's the Auburn sky cam down in Lee County and... Ooh, that's the Gulf Shore Sky Cam. You know what happens this weekend? Uh-huh, it's the Shrimp Festival. That thing is fantastic if you've never been. Uh, what you see down there, that is uh, the area around the hangout and the public beach that will be transformed into this marvelous, marvelous uh, array of food and fun, and bands will be playing down there. It's just great. And again, uh, the weather looks just delightful, as you'll see in just a little bit. All right, uh, kind of a chaotic upper pattern. Uh, we got a trough northwest of the state. We've got that uh, uh, weakness down there over Florida. And let me show you what's happening down below that. A strong surface low is really near Daytona Beach or just north of there, down to 1,006 millibars. And look at the packed isobars north of there. Very windy on the South Atlantic coast uh, from Jacksonville on up toward uh, Charleston, South Carolina. And we've got some winds of tropical storm force in there. And there are some that argue this should be given a name, but it's not. As you saw from the upper level, it's a true coal course system. But nonetheless, it is producing some issues. Uh, in fact, uh, to the north of the low, there's a tornado watch uh, for parts of North Florida and southeastern Georgia. That includes uh, Gainesville and Jacksonville on up toward Brunswick and uh, just touching Savannah. We check the radar here. That's uh, early this morning at 5 o'clock, and there's not much out there. A few sprinkles around, and obviously, we're not going to see a lot of rain, but there's a chance of some scattered light rain at times today, tonight, and tomorrow. Temperatures this morning still pretty cold back there with that western trough. I see readings around the freezing mark out there. And again, we're looking at mostly 60s around here. Convective outlook, uh, thunderstorms possible in advance of the trough. Uh, storms with a surface low over Florida, but again, widespread severe weather not expected. Here's the rain for the next five days. And as we have been talking about, the heaviest rain off to the east on the South Atlantic coast. Rainfall amounts there of two to four inches. And around here, the amounts taper off from east to west. And even on the Georgia border, I don't think we see more than a half inch. And for West Alabama, maybe in spots just a trace. And this is valid through Friday evening. Tropical weather, things are really quiet for mid-October. Of course, they've got the uh, you know circle on the non-tropical low that's uh, near around Daytona Beach. And, yeah, clearly, that, that's not a tropical system. And again, if we make it you know for another 10, 20 days, you just wonder if maybe we'll escape this season without a big uh, storm in the Gulf. We've had you know Lee and a few others, but it's been a very quiet season for us. Most of the systems have been recurving storms. Of course, we had Irene that, you know, kind of hugged the Atlantic coast and hyped up and all that. But generally speaking, the bulk of the uh, tropical systems have not affected the United States. We'll check the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid at 7 o'clock local time this evening at 500 millibars. Trough well to the northwest down below that. You can see moisture wrapping in here from the east. Cloudy, cool, bit of light rain in spots, uh, highs. Probably low to mid-70s, although some folks over in East Alabama could stay in the upper 60s all day. And on the other extreme, some folks near the Mississippi border might be approaching 80 today. Pretty good uh, temperature gradient. Tomorrow, the surface low just kind of drifts north. And again, this is not suggesting much rain. We'll mention a chance of a little scattered light rain tomorrow, but again, clearly not much. And the numbers are pretty, the spread on the models are pretty large. You've got the uh, GFS with a high of 69, the NAM 78. Truth, probably somewhere in between. Should be a pretty cool day with, I'd, I'd say, low 70s. Wednesday, we're kind of in between. The uh, low is up near uh, Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. Uh, we've got the uh, uh, next front to the west. And for now, we'll leave it dry. High should be around 80. Should be a warmer day. And then Thursday, very strong Vortmax. Uh, it's pushing that trough on to the east, and down below that, the surface boundary is coming through. And again, this looks relatively dry. I think you might just mention the chance of a shower. This is suggesting it might be Thursday morning when the front comes by, and it's out of here by Thursday evening. But again, just maybe the chance of a shower Thursday. And again, clearly no big deal. And then Friday looks great. Nice, cool, 
Continental air settles in here. Highs, low to mid-70s. Uh, dew points drop way off. And Saturday starting off the weekend looks great. And by the way, that's the day for Weather Fest at the McWayne Science Center in downtown Birmingham, which kicks off the National Weather Association annual meeting here in Birmingham uh, this weekend and all of next week. Great weather. How about a sunny day, a low in the upper 40s, a high in the 70s? Just delightful. Great weather for football, anything else. And uh, Sunday looks very nice as well. So the weekend looks A-OK. And then a week from today, Westerly's a bit north of here. Uh, again, evidence maybe of a front trying to slip in here with some risk of a shower, but the same deal. Widespread heavy rain, not expected. October is indeed the driest month of the year. Check the end of the forecast on the 25th of October. And again, you know, the core of the Westerlies are a bit north of here. Another weak front, but uh, clearly the weather looks awfully benign here for the next 15 days, and that's okay. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10, and 4 o'clock as well. Uh, have a great day. See you this afternoon. God bless.